Look, it's an old tiger print. Thank you so much. <gasps> I'm excited today. I'm back home and I'm ready to hit some of my local Goodwills. So today it's gonna be my weekly Goodwill run and we're just gonna see how many Goodwills we hit. It all depends on how much stuff we find. I've been working on my morning routine so that I don't just rush out the door the second I wake up. So I've got my Bloom smoothie here and this has been helping a lot with my digestion. It always makes me feel better and I need the energy for thrifting. So we are gonna hit the road, head to the first Goodwill and we're crossing our fingers that we're gonna find some good stuff today. Greens are the ultimate daily gut health supplement made with over 30 plus organic fruits and veggies, probiotics, antioxidants, and more. Greens help balance gut health, clear skin, boost energy, and aid in digestion. For best results, drink greens every day. Check out Bloom in the description below. Oh my gosh, I think we just had a change of plans. I was driving to go to Goodwill and I drove past a vintage store that I go to a lot and I saw Michelle pulling up to it. So I think she's going vintage shopping right now and we are gonna go bombard her and join in the vintage shopping. So maybe Goodwill's gonna have to wait. So we just got back from Costa Rica, not even a week ago, and I'm just so excited to see her right now. There is nobody that I love to spend time with more than Michelle. We travel so well together, and I just think this is hilarious. She's gonna be so surprised. I can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere without you. <laughs> I'm gonna do this clipboard for $10 because I love to take just a random photo or a print that doesn't have a frame and put it on the clipboard, especially if I'm selling it just as it is. And this could be a really good prop for photography. It's just a little bit more interesting than a plain clipboard. I've never seen one like this and it's only $10. And then this is a Sasha B piece. And I actually didn't know it was one of his pieces when I walked up to it. I've never seen this pattern. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research on it, but it is signed and it is $34. That seems to be probably pretty close to the value, I would say, without knowing this pattern. Um, some of his more desirable pieces can go for 70 to 80 but either way, I just think it's really beautiful. So we're going to get it. Look what I just found. This is the ombre mid-century mercury glass that I typically collect. And this one's a mushroom jar. And at first I was thinking it had to be a new production that was kind of copying the old design. But I just looked up online and I actually think this is vintage. I saw a couple others that were from the 1970s. So I think for $18, we're gonna get this just in case. I don't know whether I'll keep or sell it, but I sure think that would be really pretty with like coffee beans in it or a giant salt container. Can you imagine this full of truffle salt? Oh my gosh, should that be full of truffle salt? That should be truffle salt. Okay, and there we go, kids, we're keeping it. I'm also kind of loving these vintage trays. So they're 18 for the pair of two. How fun are these? They've got some little flecks of sparkle and some flowers, and they are just curved enough that you could actually right, use them so to set a variety of food on. Oh, this one has a different pattern. Yeah, I think that's a good deal. So that's only $9 each. I think stripes are my thing today. There's always a theme. $15, that is so cute. I love to mix patterns, especially if it's the same pattern, but just slightly different. In this case, we've got the stripes and I think that you could mix patterns and textures and still have a soft and subtle look if you do it right. And I think this is a really good example of how you can mix two different things with stripes, but they're not overpowering each other. They kind of balance each other out. with the cups it's not bad. I could do it without the cups and just it's just exactly what I'm looking for oh, yeah. yeah I think I need to get it and I'll just leave the cups because that's what I need for my office this is the little coffee kitchen area in our studio space and I'm not quite finished with it, otherwise I'd show you more. But I wanted to show you the beautiful little mug holder that I had originally gotten, but unfortunately, 
with these little cuties. They didn't fit. They're just a little bit too small. So this new one is gonna be perfect and I actually think I might like it better, partly because it seems to go a little bit better with the wood colors that I have in here. I still love this one and I'm gonna wood oil it up and put it in my next First Friday sale. So if you are looking for one and you have larger coffee cups, kind of like that, it'll work perfect. This is gonna be the one and it's handmade. It's got a little signature, I think, on the bottom. Let's take a quick peek. And everyone that was concerned that these might have lead in them, they came with the original paperwork and it said that they are lead free. So just thought I'd point that out. But thank you for worrying about us. Yeah, it says a walnut C-A-B. Pretty nice, isn't it? I think it's gonna be perfect. Look at the shape. It could be 40s. It's $39.50. Oh, that's tempting. It's not the right colors for me, but wow. That is amazing. That's amazing, Michelle. How much is it? 28. Oh, you have to get it. That's incredible. Good find. Mm. Michelle made a necklace out of one of these old scrubbers. <gasps> You're gonna get it and make another one? Yeah. Okay, you have to send me a picture of the one you made so I can show them. Okay. I love miniature everything. My hands are full. Do you have a free hand? Maybe? Could you see the bottom for me? Oh, it does have a stamp. And it's like $3. Done, we're getting it. Yeah. Here, you can put it right. Oh, just kidding. Okay, thank you. I was so excited when I found both of these at Snyder's because look at how perfectly they go together. They've got this beautiful kind of periwinkle bluish purple. And I just love them. I almost am tempted to sell them as a set. I just think that's so, so neat when you find something and it just goes with something completely different at the same store. They turned out so pretty together. Look, it's an old tiger print. Thank you so much. <gasps> that is so beautiful. He's going in a gallery wall. Oh, he says L Tiger. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. I think that this would be so pretty for doing some product photography for jewelry and clothing. So I think we're going to get it and have some fun with it this summer. Table bottom folds up easy. This is only $32. Oh my goodness, we are so getting this table. $32. This little coffee table is gonna be perfect for this space. I do think that I wanna change out the glass top though, maybe for a pretty little piece of marble. So I'm gonna start keeping an eye out for that. And I do have a lot of connections because I used to work in the granite industry. So I might hit up a couple of my friends that are granite fabricators and installers and see if they have a little scrap piece. Eventually I'd like to get a larger rug for this area, but for now I have this beautiful little old one and I love how worn it is. It looks so pretty. So yeah, I think a pretty piece of like travertine or marble that's maybe lighter in color would look really good on it and give a little bit more of a natural element and then I also have some beautiful throw pillows that I need to add to these lion chairs that are gonna look awesome so stay tuned I'm working hard on this studio space and getting it ready over the next few weeks so I'll have more updates soon and I also found this beautiful plate for only eight dollars and fifty cents and it's got this kind of Scandinavian hand-painted bird design for eight fifty so pretty. I 
think I'm also gonna get this. It's a beautiful, probably a butter dish or maybe for caviar. And it looks to be Victorian. It's $54. It's really beautiful. I think that's a really good price for it. Have to do a little more research on it, but I think I'm gonna get it. So we're looking at this and you take the top off and the butter would go here and in this compartment, that's where you'd have the ice to keep it cold. You could even take that out though. And then you got lots of room for all kinds of stuff. So many uses. I think it'd be really pretty at like a tea party. Oh yeah. Maybe you Kevin, could have something in there. Everybody would go, oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was just incredible. That was super fun to run into Michelle. We've only been back a few days and I was already missing her. So that was awesome getting to shop with her. She found a handful of really good things and then I got a lot. I always find good things at Snyder's. It's one of my favorite vintage stores to go to because the pricing is so good for a vintage or antique mall. I don't know if all of you remember the episode, but I actually found a Batosi candle holder there for only $9 and a 95 cents I think. So we are going to go ahead and head to one Goodwill. I think we only have time for one Goodwill today, but that's okay. And it is such a beautiful day. Something I've noticed ever since coming back from Costa Rica is I seem to appreciate everything just a little bit more. I've got a little bit of the Pura Vida in me still. <laughs> This could be a really fun DIY project. I like the wooden beads on this wreath, but I don't like the fake plant matter. And I have a huge yard full of real plants. I think it would be easy to clip off the fake plants and add in some real ones. I've been seeing a huge trend of fruit and vegetables in home decor. This lemon planter is really fun. I don't know if it's actually vintage or not, but it's only $3.99 and it's so fun and colorful. This bright yellow would look amazing with a little green plant in it. I don't decorate with color much, but when I do, I tend to go all out. And I usually use the color palettes from the Jungalow books and the New Bohemians as inspiration. And I just think this is so much fun. I love mixing totally random styles together and just kind of having fun with it. This is a beautiful vase. It looks like it might be a Japanese stoneware vase. It doesn't have a stamp anywhere here on the bottom. What I love so much about this vase is the design, how it has an abstract paintbrush stroke with a dark color contrasting the light base color. This was a really good find. It's a traditional Japanese sake set, and I love that it has ginkgo leaves. Those are some of my favorite trees in the world. I actually have one in my backyard, and it's probably my favorite plant on our property. It was only $4.99 for the set of all three, and I looked up online and I found this exact same set listed for $45, and then I found another one for $54 for the set of three. So I was hoping I would have found more sake cups, but it looks like it originally came with just two cups, so. I think I have the entire set unless it came with a lid, but none of the other listings that I found online had a lid with it. So I think maybe it goes just like that. I'll do a little setup here so you can kind of see a beautiful little Japanese inspired look that you could have if you're having friends over and having some sake. Mm. 
Speaking of Japan, I'm just too excited I can't even contain myself. If you are interested in ever traveling to Japan, you might want to subscribe to my newsletter on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com, because I might be about to launch something very, very special. This pair of candle holders looks to be silver plated. They are only $3.99 each. They both have quite a bit of red wax on them, but that's okay. I'm not scared of a little bit of work. These are timeless candle holders and they have a beautiful art deco look to them. I was so excited when I spotted this coffee mug down the aisle, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bummed that it is Starbucks. But you know what? I am not too good for a Starbucks mug. Even though it's not vintage, at least I know for sure it's safe to drink out of. I'm looking for a handful of full-size coffee mugs for the studio that can be mixed and matched patterns. The arches on it have a very Moroccan feel, which is kind of what I'm going for in that space. So this will be the first coffee mug to kick off that mixed match collection. Thank you for hanging out with me and Michelle today. That was such a fun surprise running into Michelle. Found some really good things. I'm thrilled with my haul today. This next few weeks is gonna be really exciting. I'm gonna have hopefully lots of content here on YouTube because I am hitting the ground running to start promoting the Left Coast Flea, which is this summer if you haven't heard the announcement. I'm hosting my very first flea market ever and I have joined forces with Mindy of Rose City Vintage Market and we are doing a dual vintage market at the Portland Expo Center this summer, July 15th and 16th. If you are considering being a shopper or a vendor, don't hesitate to reach out to me. To find out more details about the market or to apply to become a vendor, head to my website, leftcoastrevivals.com and you can click on the flea market tab and you'll find all of the information there. Thanks again for hanging out with me today and I will see all of you in a brand new episode soon.